Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Pat Tay's Performance. Um, here we have part two of the Bluebird uh, restoration. Um, I'm actually not going to restore this machine, believe it or not, so I'm sorry about that. I just thought about it more than hard. It's in really good shape. So it's not worth it for me to strip this down and, and paint it and for a couple extra hundred bucks. There are guys selling beat up ones for like 800 bucks. So I'm just going to throw on new wheels and we're going to call this thing a day. Now, <clears throat> OEM Bluebird wheels were like 80 bucks for the pair. Now, if I did these right, these are 40 bucks for all four, give or take a little. So hopefully these fit. They have the bearings built into it. So yeah, let's get this party started. So um, three quarters, Milwaukee M12. Let's see if this is a bit out. Alright, so the interior nut is a 7 8. So let's see if this will come out. Oh, this thing comes right off. Well, thanks Milwaukee for making this easy. I just also got my new Milwaukee Max Bite wrenches. I've had these for a while, but I'm starting to uh, get into the habit. Instead of grabbing my snap on ones, I'm going to be using these instead. See if this max bite, you know, really does work. So this wheel is really not in bad shape, but it's gonna go. This is frozen. Wow. Alright, so let's see. These Arnold wheels fit. Look at that. And we have a winner. Hole like so. This here, this here, right? I guess this just keeps the wheel from bouncing around. So you want to make it tight, but not too tight. Oh, just a little loosey goosey. So the wheel spins, see that against the bearing? Put that back in. Uh oh. Uh oh. Why doesn't that work? Ah, oh, these are both bulged. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Let's see. We do it without the bulge and see how it rolls. Rolls good. Alright, so obviously we know what the front's going to be like. Let's do the rear. Let's turn this thing around. The rear. It's probably going to be the same process. Wonder a moment. So that was three quarter. I'm going to go underneath. that dual nut. So let's just see if this comes off with ease. Pull this Obviously if I was holding on to this for myself, 
I would just probably get a longer bolt, which I probably am going to do. Uh, but for now, just to keep this video going, we will use, we'll work with what we got. So three fourths again. I think this should be, no, this is seven eighths. So the rear is completely different. Look at the bearing. Look at the part of the bearing. Yeah, this wheel is shot. This isn't even the worst wheel. So I wonder what these wheels are for. Though. What the heck do I know? So remember, if you're going to use this on your thatcher, you're going to need a different set of wheels. Now this one has a little bit more shine. So let's just leave the nut. Let's leave, skip on the washer. And let's just put the nut. Well, this one was dirty, so this one was clean, so that must be on the outside. I'm doing this for you guys. Still pretty clean inside. So, that, so now we have some some bread showing. So we'll put that there. Uh, it's funny the the front. I guess the length of the bolts are different. So you really just need four rears. Let's get this bad boy in. That's interesting. Spin, 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 baby. Take the wobble out. Just one. Seems a little loose. That seems pretty good. And this side's stuck on the ground. Turn the fuel off just in case. Let's bring this bad boy around. So you can just see how worn the wheels are. Well, that's good. We got good news. Let's get the other set of wheels. All right, so even though the box says Amazon, eBay had the cheapest price. So let's see about these front wheels again. Oh, I'm a steady. Going to be seven eighths again. Take care of that. Stick this in. Let's see just how much space we got. Oh, a decent amount of space. Stick the washer, double washer it, stick it inside, and just see how it's going to do. 
Mach's mal. rolls easy. So I'm just going to give this thing one more power wash. Change the oil. And yeah. Look at this. Now this one, oh wow, this one's completely different. You see that? This runs completely through. Oh, I really didn't want to tip anything. You guys see that? Runs all the way through. So definitely this could be fixed with longer hard bit, which are a little tame. But for now, just to keep this video going. Kind of sell it and use it as is until I get to the hard bit. Which is good because I could just use this video documentation of how everything goes. Or I could just use my other thatcher, the one that I used in my lawn care video. See how that works. This one. Well, hey, look at this. <laughs> look at <how> them. <laughs> this ain't even right, boy. This ain't even right. That was going to be possible. Look at the bearing came out too. Mm, Alright. The last wheel. Like so. I'm going to have a washer here. Hump on this wheel really makes a big difference. Even this bolt is even more. So I guess this is really going to be a wrap, man. I'm really sorry to do this to you guys. I actually do have another Thatcher that I promise we're going to restore. Come on, don't hit the camera. Don't hit the camera. That was pretty good. I'm happy with it. For now. Like I said, I'm definitely going to get the correct uh, hardware. So originally I was going to paint the wheels black and everything, but I'm just going to do the handles black. I, I guess I'm just going to kind of leave it, you know, as is. Because, you know, time is money. And I feel because what's out there, it's worth it. So, yeah, let's, let, let's get a part number for the Arnold wheels in case you guys are looking to do your Thatcher. 490-322-0005. Now because the wheels, you see how this is humped, and this side is flat, 
the Arnold wheels are humped on both sides. So you're going to need longer bolts, which we will take care of. And, uh, yeah. Other than that, I mean, this machine is good to go. So, Bluebird CNT long comb. I have to apologize that I lied, but maybe I should have bit my tongue off before I actually cleaned this thing. Actually cleaned up really, really well. It does have some room for improvement. I'm going to put in a nice detail on it, and uh, we'll call this thing a day. Remember, I paid 300 for this and the Kawasaki trimmer. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to be in the green zone because these thatches will sell for shit sure for more than 300 uh, the last one I sold was the one that was restored it was I think maybe 658 so you know what happens you start high and then you work your way from there so hit the smash button like subscribe if you found this video helpful I'm a little disappointed I'll be honest with you because I thought I was gonna restore this but I'm not probably wifey is gonna be too because I made her pick out the pink color uh, but yeah, I'm just, I'm not going to touch this thing. I think it's in, it's in fair shape. So, uh, yeah, man, I'll see you guys on the next episode of Pat T's Performance.